Today we're talking about one of my favorite subjects, designing a comeback. Any influencer that you talk to that's being real with you, any leader, anybody who's built anything significant, if they're being honest with you, would tell you that their entire career, just like their entire life, has been a series of comebacks. You know, here's the problem with social media today. You get on social media, everybody's showing their successes, everybody's showing the highlight reel, everybody's showing all the things that are working really well, but very few people are being true and real and authentic and actually sharing with us the challenges that they've been facing. Listen, my life too has been a series of comebacks. Some small comebacks along the way and some major ones. I've had three or four massive comebacks in my life. So before I get into it, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, take a minute to do that. When we're done, hey, share this with your team. If you know people that you love and care about, that you want them to be able to have comebacks, you should definitely be sharing this content and all of my content with them. So listen, if you're going to have a comeback, the first thing that you have to do is you have to decide that you're a rock bottom. Comebacks only start when you're a rock bottom, when you've hit the floor, when enough is enough. You know, I can think back to 2009 when I was in the hospital and I just lost eight feet of my bowel. That was one of my three major comebacks in my life. I might talk about the other two here in a minute, but that was one of my comebacks. That was actually the second big comeback of my life, but I never had that comeback until I hit rock bottom. In fact, I thought I was in a comeback phase until I really decided that enough was enough. Maybe you're challenged with your finances right now, and maybe you're sick and tired of being sick and tired, but the only way that you're gonna have a comeback that's even possible is if you decide you're at rock bottom. See, here's the reality. Most people have to drop four or five more levels when they think that they're at the bottom. Then they go down a level, then they get knocked down again, and then it's two more levels, and then it's two floors below that, and just below that is rock bottom, and now you're ready for the comeback. It's only in that moment where you've had enough, and enough is enough. No matter what, it's never gonna get any worse than that. That's how you know that you're ready for your comeback. So after you've made a decision that you're ready for a comeback, I want you to ask yourself this question. Are you really ready? Are you really ready to put in the work? Are you really ready to forget the past and let go of your limiting beliefs? Because if you're gonna have a true comeback, you have to forget everything that you thought you knew about yourself because if you act the way you were that got you in that problem you're never going to get out of that situation so you have to truly come to that point where you are truly ready to have that comeback all right once you're ready here's what i want you to do i want you to draw out the ideal picture what does it look like what does your championship look like what is that trophy what's that final thing i remember being rock bottom in 1999 actually it was 2000 sailed around the world on a on an after school program it was unbelievable experience and i was right in the middle of the ocean and my uh, had a partial lung collapse partial pneumothorax and we had just sailed around the cape horn of africa we were on the west side of africa we were sailing to saint helena and uh my part part of my lung collapse i got picked up on a military learjet i got flown back to calgary and I had a lung surgery. I had part of my lung removed. I had a rare fungal infection. They scraped my lung. I was in the hospital for three weeks and I was at rock bottom. And I made a decision that it was never gonna get any worse than that in that moment. And I started to design my life. I started to figure out what did I want my life to look like? What kind of income? Where did I wanna live? How did I wanna feel? And that was the seeds that were being planted that a few years later, my business was gonna appear and really pull those seeds out of me. Right, So it's in those rock bottom moments where you have to design it. What does it look like? What are you chasing? What is it gonna be like? And that's the first step to having a comeback. Find a quiet space, pull out some paper. What's the ideal you? What does it look like? How does it feel? How does it taste? Where are you living? Who are you surrounding yourself with? Design it all, get it figured out, write it all down. And we're gonna build towards that. Now that you've designed the ideal situation, now we gotta make a plan. You can't just have things on paper. We have to make a plan. So if this is where you are today, rock bottom, and this is where you wanna be, you need a game plan. What does that plan look like? I see a lot of people, they have all these goals and this is where I wanna be and this is what it's gonna look like. They have no execution plan. Day to day, they have no idea what they're doing. I need you to back engineer it yearly, monthly, weekly, daily, and then really, if you're being coached by me, you know that I like to operate in three mini days, 6 a.m. to noon, noon to 6 p.m., 6 p.m. to midnight. I want you to dial in your plan. If I'm only talking to you right now, if you want to have a comeback, if you're not serious of having a comeback or you're not at rock bottom yet, or you're not really ready to make a change, then this, what I'm saying right now, probably is not appealing to you. But if you're truly ready 
You gotta make that game plan, a blueprint, so that every morning when you get up, you're not thinking, you're just executing. If you wanna have a comeback, it's all about execution. So now, once you have the plan, I need you to seek mentorship. The best comebacks are always influenced by mentorship. You're gonna have some setbacks, your old habits are gonna kick in, your old limiting beliefs are gonna creep up, but you need that mentorship. You need someone to talk to, someone to hold you accountable, right? Somebody who's been there. If you design that life and you make that plan, I want you to get mentorship from somebody who's built it, somebody who's been there. But the only way that you're gonna be able to seek mentorship is if you're willing to put in the work. There's nothing worse than somebody seeking a mentor that's not willing to put in the work. If you're not willing to be coachable and you're not willing to go after it and you're not willing to put in the work, don't waste your mentor's time. Don't stop wasting people's time if you're not serious. But if you're serious, you're gonna need a mentor because it's your mentor that's gonna be able to take you to that next level. And last, my favorite part, I want you to document the journey. I don't care if it's a journal, I don't care if it's on video. I want you to document the journey. Imagine this, you're rock bottom today. This is where you're gonna be. It's gonna be one hell of a ride. I want you to imagine that you're filming the motion picture of your life. I want you to imagine that a year from now or two years from now or five years from now, they're gonna pack theaters all over the world and people are gonna pay a ticket to go to that theater and watch you have the comeback of your life. So you better make it one hell of a story and you better make sure that you stick to it. And there's gonna be some dark days, just like every movie has. You wanna know what? There's gonna be a happy ending and it's gonna feel great. And you're gonna be so proud of what you did. So don't forget to document the journey to look back to see how far you came. All right, you guys, if you're serious to having a comeback, that's what I recommend doing. If you need more help or leadership or guidance, reach out to me on social media. Don't forget to subscribe and share this with all your teammates. We'll see you on the next one.